Mimi. Was a good girl, huh? All right. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Steve. Let me give you an update on this tank. Um, I'm still uh, really sick. Those of you who don't know, um, I got nailed with a bacterial. Uh, I can't even think. I've been on the couch for four days with a fucking fever. The fever right now is only 101, and I'm tired of laying on the couch, and I just feel somewhat decent, so I want to get up. This is really the first time I've looked at this tank in four days. Um, bacterial staph infection. It started out, like in my previous video, I had what I thought was an ingrown hair, didn't think anything of it, and then a second one came, I thought that's weird, then a third one, and then I knew something was messed up. Um, anyway, it got worse. They itch like crazy. I tried to resist the urge to scratch them and I succeeded. But then when they pop, not to be disgusting, but it gets on your skin and it instantly itches right away. There's nothing you can do, even if you wash it pretty quick. And then <clears throat> one swelled up on my hand, half the size of a golf ball. I couldn't use my hand. The pain was nuts. Um, now they're saying it could be... Um, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but anyway. <sighs> I wasn't going to do any videos. Like I said, I'm just sick of sitting on the damn couch. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to show you all the... Look at all that beautiful coralline algae on the back of the tank. Haven't seen that stuff grow in a while. I do have green hair algae on the back, but the good news is, I just looked at it now, and it looks like it's turning white, but there's all this nasty stuff. I scrubbed this rock like two weeks ago. Look at it. It's back. I scrubbed it. I dunked it in hydrogen peroxide. Look at this rock. This rock was completely cleared. Again scrubbed with hydrogen peroxide that rock was pure white it's all back the green hair algae the beard looks like a beard look at this it is what it is okay you can't see this but the back here come on I'm not going to lie, I'm sick of this fucking tank. It's not fun for me anymore. I have been battling this algae shit for uh, October. I don't know. Phosphate RX does nothing. Pulling it out does nothing. Turning the lights off and putting black hefty bags in front of it for five days does nothing. Um, I bought two tuxedo urchins. They died. I think these, the striped hermit crab killed them. I don't know what killed them, but they died within a few days of each other. Um, <clears throat> what else? You name it, I tried it. I'm sugar dosing the nitrates. It's impossible to read them because this fucking hair algae, pardon my Italian, is, uh, it's devouring the nitrates, that's how it's living, but more importantly, it's de de devouring the phosphates. Here's my plan, when I feel like working on this tank again, I'm going to be getting rid of the refugium, because let's face it, this little refugium down here, it's been off, there's green hair algae in there, I'm going to take this light out of there, it's off, let's show you this light was on. The light was on. I took a lot of the Chieto out. But there, was, there was so much green and black algae in there. Green and black hair algae. I'm going to clean that out. I got to scrub this tube out. That's getting algae in it. There's been a mass algae explosion and I'm done. I'm pulling this Chieto out. 
Again, let's face it, this little refugium is not doing anything. You've got to have a refugium like half the size of your tank, so I would need like a 60 gallon refugium to even do good. This 10 gallon is not doing anything. It's probably eight gallons right now. Refugium's gone. Um, this miracle mud, I'll leave it in there. Um, I'll probably put my second protein skimmer in here with a rod or tube that'll take care of that. And then I just ordered from Bulk Reef Supply a phosphate reactor. I'm going to run some GFO in this damn tank. I'm going to strip it of all the phosphates and hopefully the green hair algae will die. Oh, flucanazole? That shit doesn't work. Uh... Didn't do shit. Look at this. I thought about getting LEDs, but as Fish Tank Doc says, it's not your lights. A lot of you have asked, have you changed your T5 lighting? Yeah, I I just I bought new bulbs two months ago, so and it came back, but. <clears throat> What I've seen, like I said, what makes me kind of happy, look at this, I just noticed. This is like white. Look at that. It's not flowing like the stuff in the back. Right here. It's all, like, turning white, so I'm thinking it's dying off. Good. Die. I'm still kind of liking the... No sand, I mean, there's like a millimeter deep of sand, sand bed, glass bare bottom. I would really like to have sand again, because I really like the way it looks. I'm thinking about getting a bag and making a deep sand bed, like on this side, like four inches. And then when I get more money, I'll add a second bag, I'll get more money, I'll add a third bag, I'll add, get more money, and I'll add a fourth bag. I'm thinking that might be the plan, you know? The only reason I don't like that is because with a deeper sand bed, I'm going to have less swimming space for the guys. They're going to have four inches less swimming because it's not a high tank. I'm thinking about that. I don't know. I like I like the bare bottom. Um, I don't know. That that won't be for a little while. But I'm gonna get this uh, algae under control. This is one of my last ditch efforts. If you name it, I've more than likely tried it. People have said get a sea hair. I can't find them anywhere. The only problem with the sea hair is when the algae's gone, they die. I don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think I'm gonna get a tuxedo urchin again. The guys are all healthy, all the fish are doing well. Lawnmower Blunny has been working on the back wall. After I do a water change when I get these gloves in the mail, when I feel up to it. This yellow tang, everyone says tangs eat this stuff. My guys don't. But it makes me happy that this stuff is turning white back there. And I think one of the reasons is because my... Um, RODI unit was putting phosphates in the tank. The TDS meter was reading like six, which is so bad. Oh, there's the one more blenny. There he is. Do your work, do your job. He's in the center of the screen. Tank looks so bad. Anyway, guys, that's it. <clears throat> Just wanted to give you a report. I don't know if I'm going to do a rod or two brief this Friday or not. I might. I literally, I feel like better, but I still feel like crap. Um, I'm doing a wardrobe change twice a night because with this bacterial staph infection um, <laughs> and the fever... I've been sweating so bad that I can almost wring out my clothes. So I soak through the clothing and under the bed. So I have to put towels on top of the bed sheets and it goes through the towels. I can't believe 
how bad this, the I won't even say sweating. It's like someone dumps a bucket on me, and I wake up freezing. I'm already freezing. Um, body aches because of the fever that has not gone away in four days. Right now, I feel a little better because the fever is only 101. So I wanted to give you guys an update and say thank you very much for all your nice comments. Um, buy gloves. Buy yourselves gloves. There's so many millions of bacteria in this tank. We all take for granted that it'll be fine and nothing's ever happened to us before. I got totally screwed. Anyway, that's it. Happy Easter. I'm home alone. It's nice. I get peace and quiet. Everyone went to the family for Easter. So I'm just hanging out with the dogs. I'm going to take a nap. But I wanted to say hi to you all and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.